is Moshe, the electric Israeli, and thank you for joining my channel. If you're new, please subscribe and help me change the world one electric car at a time. Thank you to all my patrons and those who buy their Tesla using my referral code. And today I want to share with you this awesome, awesome article just came out the other day on Inside EV. I'll put a link below. You should read the whole thing. It's by Tom Alagni, a Jersey boy. He lives actually not too far away from me. And uh, it, they tested like 13 uh, electric cars. Uh, and they tested what is the real world range versus the EPA range in miles and also they translated to kilometers to see how efficient and how different it is. Meaning if it's a 300 miles uh, EPA range, what is the real world miles? Uh, at, and, and they did it by percentage. So it's really great. Uh, one of the two or three things that a, a new uh, buyer of an EV asks, and it's normal, how far can I go with this car? how and where do i charge it and uh, how fast is the charging if i'm on the road i get these questions all the time from so many people that i talk with so i picked like five cars that i'm really familiar with uh, uh, three of them i actually owned and you can read the rest it's very very good it's really good they, they put the price the real world range the epa range the difference in percentage and the efficiency miles uh, slash uh, kilowatt hours really good so without further ado let's start with the tesla model 3 long range dual motor now i'm seeing right now in the tesla model 3 long range but this is the real wheel, rear wheel drive it has similar epa range to the dual motor so it is comparable uh, by the way, so I, I, I want to say that they, char they tested uh, New Jersey highways, the New Jersey Turnpike and all that, and um, uh, 70 miles an hour uh, on the highway. They, they basically drove it until, until they couldn't to see, how, to see how, uh, what was the real range. Now, just remember, and I'm going to say about it at, at, the, at the end, real world range has to do with topography has to do with speed has to do with weather weather is number one wind there's so many things so i'm nobody knows about real world range more than me nobody because i do it all the time and i drive so much on on my electric cars okay back to the tesla model 3 tesla model 3 long long range uh real world highway range they came up with 290 that's not bad at all epa estimate range is 322 uh, so it's minus nine percent in difference. Uh, so the which which translates to 467 uh, kilometers. Okay, they drove 70 miles on the highway uh, and all that. So let's go now to 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 uh, the Model Y. I also have a Model Y, the 2020 long range dual motor. Yes, estimated range 316. Yes, that's from a the, from a 2020. They, they come up with 276, which is minus 12.7%. Now, I can tell you right off the bat, it is true. I, I've tested the Model Y. I got to 281, 290, 85, something like that. So it's not, it's not crazy. Again, they drove it on the New Jersey tur Turnpike. And they got a, a 3.85 miles per kilowatt hour, which translates to 16.2 kilowatt hour uh, for 100 kilometers. Uh, uh, altogether 444 uh, kilometers in range uh it is not it is very close to the truth uh, however i say in cold weather and i'll talk about it at the end the model y will do exponentially better than the than the model three uh, uh any model three until the next one in 2021 because of the heat pump we'll talk about it later the uh 2020 uh, uh hyundai kona electric kona ev I, I drove that car. It's a friend of mine has it. He loves it. Uh, the real world range is 238 miles, and the EPA estimate range is 258. Uh, yes, it's true. Minus a seven point eight. Very efficient. Kona cars are really, really very, very efficient car, uh, and uh, it's a 37,000 plus uh, dollars, and uh, they got 3.9 miles per kilowatt hour which is 15.9 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers altogether 383 kilometers this is a very very efficient car again 70 miles per hour the whole thing it has a 64 uh, kilowatt hour uh, uh, usable battery cone i have to tell you konas are good in terms of efficiency. it's a very good car next one is the bolt ev i've driven the bolt ev a good friend of mine has it 
Uh, real world range, they got 226 as opposed to 2, 259 EPA estimate range. Uh, the difference was a minus 12.7. So again, it's not that bad. It's not as good as the Kona, but it's not that bad. Uh, it's a 60 uh, kilowatt hour to 66 kilowatt hour uh, uh, battery. Uh, depends on the on the year that you have. And again, it's 364 kilometers, uh, 3.5 miles uh, per kilowatt hour translate to 18.24 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. Again, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Anything below 15%, it's not that bad. Let's do one more, the Nissan Leaf. I, did, I owned the original Nissan Leaf, the 2015, the old model. And it was a great car and I really loved it. That was an 85 miles an hour, 85 miles range. But this one it got uh, 190 uh, real world range uh, miles. EPA is 2015, so it's minus 11.6. Not, not bad at all. Uh, it's a 62 kilowatt hour battery EPH of the 215 one uh, per uh, per charge, uh, and it got again on a 70 miles an hour, 306 kilometers, 18.24 uh, kilometer uh, kilowatt hour per 100 uh, uh, kilometers. So there are many more that they did. The Hyundai uh, Ionic uh, Electric. Uh, that actually the Hyundai Ionic Electric. Listen to this. 107 71 miles. Um, uh, uh, they got range and the estimate, EPA estimate is 107, so it's plus 0.6 uh, 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 percentage. So they got more, a mile more than what it is. I, I, I'm telling you, Hyundai, they, they're great uh, when they, uh, they do it. So I highly recommend that you read uh, the whole thing. It's really, really good. I just want to mention, this is really funny. Uh, I want to mention the Porsche Taycan, the Porsche Taycan, which uh, goes for an almost two hundred thousand uh, dollars. They got two hundred seventy-seven point nine miles. The EPA estimate it's two hundred and three miles, which is plus thirty-six point nine percent. Thirty-nine percent. So obviously, obviously, you uh, it, 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 something with the EPA range. So again, go and look for. It. Just well, let me say one thing, guys. Cars that have um, a, a, a heat pumps like the Model Y, like the 2021 20, Model 3 will have, like the Hyundai's, like the Nissan Leafs and all that. Cars who have that do extremely well in the winter. My Model 3, which does not have the heat pump, will do 20 to 50% less in real world range in harsh weather. I've tested it many times. So obviously the w weather has so much to do with uh, uh, with the, uh, your real world range and how you use the heat. Uh, speed, speed is very important. Elevations, very important. So all these things, but this is a very good test and I can concur that test that I made came out to, to numbers like this, more or less. But this is like in really good conditions, driving on a highway 70 miles an hour. My, my test usually go to 75 miles an hour on the highways when I go a uh, long distance driving. So that's good. All the other cars uh, estimates, but before you buy a car, you can look at it. This is a very good test. I highly recommend you, you read this article. It's really good. Thank you guys for watching and see you tomorrow.